Hello Budgie Nation, do you know why is your budgie sitting at the bottom of the cage? You've gone to check on your lovely friend as usual. This time around you encounter something striking. He is sitting at the bottom of the cage. The first question you ask is why that strange thing would happen. The next action you take shows that you're very concerned. You call a veterinarian for help. If that has ever happened to you or not yet, be sure that it's a legit concern that every bird owner can and will have. So, why would an active bird like a parakeet sit at the bottom of the cage? There's no specific reason that could explain that as birds vary from each other in behavior, health status, or even mental status. Let's discuss some of the possible reasons why your buddy will sit at the cage's bottom. Since we cannot communicate with birds and know what they're up to, most of the explanations given as to their acts are speculative. We only try to deduce possibilities that might be true. Some avian veterinarians can use particular signs to detect problems in these little ones. But sometimes that can be inapplicable, especially if birds are just dramatic. Before we dig deep into more specific and attention requiring reasons, here are some general ones that all parakeets can have. It's a way for them to keep warm. Every animal loves warmth, and so do birds. If they detect somewhere that can generate that, they will not hesitate to utilize it. It might not be something alarming. Your friend is trying to gain heat. Young birds tend to love sitting at the cage's bottom. Is your parakeet young? If so, this is a common phenomenon in most of them at that age. We can't accurately tell why they do that. Probably, it's a way to keep them from getting startled. As part of their dynamic and playful nature, they might go to the bottom to explore new things or jump up and down as a way of playing. Even so, this should be to a limited degree. If he stays down there for just a little while, then it's not a big deal. Some might just be extraordinary, loving the bottom of the cage more than perches or bars. Parakeets are considered lively and would be expected to be on top most times. But remember that even humans don't have similar traits. So can these birds too. Some pet stores use this mechanism to keep them looking their best. This can result in floor sitting. Again, check if that frequently occurs to validate it. If not, then it's an unusual scenario. Does your cage have paper? If so, then that can explain it all. Parakeets can chew anything that gets in their way. If a paper is down there, most time will be spent on the floor. Behavioral reasons. These birds can also undergo behavioral changes, and this can initiate staying on the floor. It's prudent to be alert on your parakeet, as some of them may display mannerism specific to only him or her. Below are some of the motives under this category to watch for. Curiosity satisfaction. As little curious birds, parakeets will do anything to satisfy that. They can discover the surroundings both inside and out of their homes. Sitting down on the floor while actively chewing paper or cardboard is one way to satisfy their curiosity. Natural wild behavior. In the wild, these birds are foragers who look for food themselves. Rooting through the cage's bottom for debris is natural. Only watch out for exhaustion. If he's tired, sitting there for more than extended periods, instead of chewing or rooting, then you need to take appropriate action. Boredom. Interestingly, birds do get bored too. And when they do, finding something to do or play with is a remedy. Your parakeet is moving to the floor to play with the toys you've placed in the cage. This also requires being observant to ascertain if that's what is happening. Stress. Birds are usually very active. Any sign of depression, fatigue, or anxiety should be taken seriously. Like humans, they can experience stress for several reasons. 
For instance, a change in the environment can be a stressor. Since they're used to living on trees in the wild, keeping them in cages can stress them out. This may cause them to stay at the base of their enclosure, especially if there are no branch-like objects and high places. Other stress inducers could be a change of schedule, the birds or the owners, new family members or pets, outside unknown sounds from vehicles or construction, even variations in a light cycle like cage cover or darker room can startle a bird. Appetite loss. If your feathered friend who usually eats properly starts to show disinterest in food, something could be stressing him. Try to find out what it could be or arrange to check with an avian veterinarian. Fear. This occurs when your bird is ordinarily cheerful and comfortable being handled, then unexpectedly begins to act fearful of you or others. The person in question may be a stressor. It might not be what is done to the bird directly. Probably a brightly colored cloth or grooming mode is the trigger. Find out what it could be and adjust appropriately with lots of patience. A change in vocalization. What is the usual character of your bird regarding making sounds? Stress can cause some screamers to decrease that while quiet ones to start screaming. Aggressiveness. Some stressed birds will display aggressive characters like biting, consistent hissing, and attacks. Seek medical help for your friend immediately if you can't discern what the inducer is. Feather picking. While there's that degree of this action that constitutes molting, stress can also induce it. A sudden and constant feather picking that proceeds onto self-mutilation is devastating and requires a quick response on your part. Only stressed or sick birds can go up to that extent. Health reasons. Now, let's look at some of the health issues that could cause your little friend to sit at the bottom of his enclosure even the whole day. The main possibilities of them doing so could be illness or injuries. As a bird owner, you should be vigilant to everything that can affect your lovely pet from environmental, health, psychological, and behavioral stimuli. Injury. How will you know that your parakeet is injured? Sitting at the bottom can be an indicator, but more is required. Be observant and you'll realize something is wrong. Bleeding is one sign to look out for. If you detect any dried blood or bleeding, see the vet immediately. Other observable symptoms include leg and eye injuries. Broken limbs or toes will be hanging and simple to spot. Remember, birds can downplay their wounds and it might be difficult to notice that, especially when they hide it by sitting on the floor. Illness. Most bird owners link the discussion subject to sickness. Are they right? Well, there's a high probability that sick birds will often try to hide the signs until it's too late. Their option of doing so is to sit quietly at the base of the enclosure. A sickly bird won't have the energy to hang on a bar or branch, and if you realize it late, he might be in a life-threatening situation. Like other birds, parakeets found lying at the bottom of the enclosure or who reject leaving their perches or nests are often very sick. Change in sitting posture and position has been a vital indicator of an ill parakeet. If your parakeet remains in the same place longer or sits on the floor, raise that concern to the vet. Since this is a serious issue that all bird lovers should watch out for, below are some other signs of a sick parakeet. Too much sleep. Exceptionally, if it occurs on two feet with fluffy feathers and head or beak tucked under the wings. Nair or beak discharges. If he discharges bubbles from the beak, a possible respiratory infection is underway. Vomiting. Look out for vomits that might have stuck on the feathers around the face or chest. Unusual stool. See if the stool is showing any illness signs and seek help from the vet if you feel alarmed.
Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something new. But before we end this video, do you know why there is no budgies here? You need to subscribe to find out. Watch next. Previous video or is it cruel to keep Budgie in cage? Visit our official webpage for more information and Budgie care.